Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the operator differ operator. So this is one type of creation operators. This will create an observables actually. So this will create an observable. So what is this? Let's try to see the definition. Differ normally creates an observable that on subscribe calls an observable factory to make an observable for each new observer. So that means that this differ operator, what it will try to do is it will try to create an observable. So when it will create an observable, whenever an observer subscribes to the observable, then only it will call an observable factory. Observable factory means nothing but it is a function which creates the observables. Factory means the factory with the function which creates an observables to make an observable for each, for each new observable. So that means a new, every, every time a new observer comes, every time a new subscriber comes, it will try to make a observable. The observable factory will try to make a new observable and it will send it to the observer. It may be any observable, I know we don't know, it depends on the condition. So whatever the logic you will be writing in the differ, it will generate an observable to each and every observer, whoever the subscribes to that differ. Now if you try to see here, differ you are having, so you will be sending an observable input. So this observable input is nothing but the observable factory, this is a function which will returns an observable. Let's try to see. Here if you try to see the marble diagram, so this is the marble diagram, in this marble diagram if you see. Here you are having a function and this function, this is an observable factory and this factory that means it is not a function, factory is nothing but a function only. Function is returning an observable which emits the values A, B, C. So that is the thing it is trying to do. And here if you are able to see, differs allows you to create an observable only when the observer subscribes. So when the observer subscribes only, differ will create an observable for you. It waits until an observer subscribes to it. So that means it will wait for observer to subscribe to it calls the given factory function to get an observable. So whenever an observer subscribes to the differ, then it will call the observable function to execute and return me the observable, where a function typically generates a new observable and subscribes to the, in case the factory function returns a false value. So that means if the factory function returns a false value, then empty is used as an observable instead. Last but not least, an exception during the factory function is called so any error or anything occurs in the factory function, factory means nothing but it is in a function if any error or anything occurs, it will call the error method in the observer. So this is all about the differ. Let us try to see the practical implementation of this differ method, how we will try to use. So normally it is used to create an observable, so we will not use in the pipe operator, we will use it directly as a function. So let us try to see it. Here I am creating differ operator and for the time what I will try to do is let us go to the operators.html and in this operators.html what I will try to do is here I am creating differ and here I will write differ okay and let us go to the app routing where is this app routing yeah here it is the app routing and in this app routing what I will try to do is here I will create differ operator component and here I will write differ that's it. Now let's go and see the output in this RxJS. So it, it, as this one is an operator, let's go to the operators. And here, if I try to click on this operator, yeah, we are able to get the differ operator, right? Now let's go to this differ operator. Yeah, here is the implementation of this component. Let's take that this is a source. Okay, we are using the differ method. So this should be imported from the RxJS, not from the RxJS slash operators differ operator so it will take a factory factory is nothing but a function which create which returns an observable so let's take that if math dot random i am taking math dot random is greater than 0 0.5 okay if it is greater than 0 0.5 means then return observable of 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 okay something like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so now if it is not if it is less than 0 0.5 means return another observable. So this is the way you can write an logic. Okay. So whatever the observable you want to generate, you can generate it. So here I am writing a comma b or c also you can write whatever the observable. So this differ method, this differ method is returning an observable of two types of observable depending on the logic. It can return 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or it can return a, b, c. So this returns, it is uh, this one is an observable factory. Why? Because it is having the list of observables. So depending on the condition, whatever the condition it satisfies, it will it will give you the that corresponding observable. Now let us subscribe to this one. Source 
if you subscribe to this one now it will try to so whenever you subscribe to this one now it will try to execute the factory and it will give you an observable now here let's try to see console.log of data now if you try to see here the output is abc right so why do why, why because math are random so it generates a random value if it is less than 0 0.5 means it will try to give you abc now here i am having an another observer let's try to see whether these two observables will get the same or not so it depends actually so now if you try to see so one sometimes you will get same only sometimes you may get different if i try to refresh it again see this time you got first observable got abc and the second observable got the another observable 1 2 3 4 5 so in this way if you have any scenario that depending on the condition or depending on the scenarios you want to return by a particular observable means you can return like this or otherwise if you want to return something like this means so return throw so any error if you want to throw means you can also throw like this okay so you can also throw the error now let's try to see what will happen now if you want to have like this means so let's implement this one using like this so you will be having next so you will get a data sorry you will get a data here and here i will be doing console.log data let's try to see whether you will get an error or not and here here you will be having an error and here i will do console.log sorry console.log error let's try to see whether we will get an error or not and here we have an error now if you try to see here see now we got an error here dsdsd so sometimes you may get an error sometimes you may get an output okay that depends on the condition that depends on the situation so if i try to refresh it again see for first one you got you got uh, what i can say output and the second one you got an error so for the first observer for the observer, first observer you got abc for, but for the second observable you got your observer you got error so like this you can also send like this or otherwise if we try to, we'll try to return false so what will happen let's try to see so if i try to return false what will try to see so now if i try to refresh this page so let's try to refresh this page so abc abc it is trying to return i think some something we have written wrong i think okay it has to return something so now we need to return empty so empty is an observable it's an empty observable so it will return nothing so if i try to refresh this one the same thing happens so you will get sometimes empty so both of them got empty i think so for second time if you try to refresh see one of them has written abc and another one has written empty so like this you can mention if anything if you don't want to send anything means you can return it's empty so empty means nothing but it is an empty observable so it will it will never return anything so this is all about the differ so if you have a logic in a such a way that you want to return an observable based on some logic or any situation means you can use the differ so this differ will subscribe so whenever user subscribes only this logic will execute okay so this will not execute one time and it will send all the time one logic one observable only don't think like that whenever a new observer subscribe to it again it will execute this execute this function it will return the appropriate observ observable for that observer hope you understood about this differ operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.